Hi, welcome. I'm Tina and welcome back to my channel. So, all those that you see me before or new, hello. So, we are going to do um, February's um, forecast, see what comes out for you for February. We have three piles, so we are doing one, two, and three. So, for the third one is um, a rose quartz, then pyrite, second pile and a rock crystal for the third pile so one two or three if you know um just take a deep breath and see which one um you feel drawn to and we will get on with it with pile one so, we got those. so what we've got first we have um the mystic of divine love our Lady of Exalted Light, St. Bridget, and the Mystic of Peace on those. We have Freedom, Moonlight, My Alien Emerges. I don't know if I'm going to say that. Hydraid Lake. Mantra Ray Mermaid and Mermaid Picking Lotus Blossom. So let's see what we feel comes in for you. Okay, so we have the sense of, um, so we have the peace. I am peace when my mind is clear, the way is clear. So clarity coming in. Um, be willing to bring in the new and let go of the old is what I'm hearing and we have the freedom card that comes on the top there so when we can bring in clarity for ourselves and are willing to put ourselves um, forward this month we are willing to embrace our energies we're embracing that fire energy that's what I've got with you know lots of red energy grounding also some grounding energy so all challenges and blockages are gone once we start to embrace this um, clarity that's going to come in for us. Um, let me see if there's any. So this one I feel goes with it. Our a alien emerges. This is kind of being ourselves. We are exploring who we are and we're wanting to embrace that and move forward. More, move forward through the challenges and let people see who you truly are. Um, I just did. So yeah, um, we're flying our own flags here, freaky fra flags here, we're being who we are, um, that's what I get from that, we're being who we are, you know, you're encouraged to do this, um, let's see what else, so we've got uh, the mystic of divine love, love is divine and I am nothing except love, so we have some, I know February is the, is the month sometimes for love, um, so we do have, this is more like um, accepting love in your life, being open to love and accepting um, all kinds of love, including self-love and self-appreciation. Um, the mermaid that lotus, picks the lotus blossom, um, she picks her peace, she picks her, uh, her beauty. Um, let's have a look. I don't know, let's see her hair. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. So, um, yeah, it just feels like she's got a little sparkle this month. Got a little sparkle coming in. She's like weaving the sparkle through her hair there. And we are picking our destiny. We are picking and we are choosing our choices there. Um, being open to that um, choice. Mansa Mermaid. So we have some um, feeling of, again this feels like flight and I know that they're in the sea but they feel like fright and freedom and the blue is that healing energy and she's just swimming freely with these manta rays and she's moving forward um, in the way she wants to. She's allowing others to kind of, with no judgement, to do what they will and she does her own thing. Um, See, I've never read the book to these cards. I just do what I want to sense. But the book card would maybe say something completely different from what I'm saying. But there you go. Okay. So we have uh, the Hammer Lake. So we have um, 
what I get from this card is creativity, but I get creative choice here. So I've got a collaboration of some kind. So I'm kind of like reaching out for this helping hand and reaching out for... Um, it could be, uh, I'm seeing like um, research there, or I'm seeing like somebody, could be Pacific message, re remember that you should just take what resonates and leave the rest, but could be that somebody's kind of wanting to do some research, they're Googling images or pictures, they're trying to find some inspiration of some kind, and um, we've got this, um, we've got this perch here where she's like sat and she's now having a wonder and she's allowing things to build up around her so we need this inspiration i think it is coming in from um before i think this card here so i am peace and when my mind is clear they the way is clear so we're trying to find our inspiration and our way forward we're trying to find our blossom move forward freely this month um Yes, we have some love cards there, but and this is a moonlight. So for some of you, a new relationship here, a new love in, enters your life. So it's time to kind of celebrate this. Um, let me see if I heard then. What am I heard? I heard the number six then from spirit. So I'm just trying to see what uh, number six means. Um, so it mustn't be that you know that you're going to kind of have this um, start this relationship this month and um, know where you are with it within about a six week period. Um, you'll know if you know you're going to be set up these new lights. Um, you're going to put this love interest coming in, but remember self-love is there as well so make sure that you don't lose sight of what you want and what you need in life um fail our lady of exalted light i give endlessly because the light is without end my soul is all i need so there is light coming in there is growth coming in and there is this feeling of spring as well so we're looking forward to spring and this light of spring that comes in with this energy um I don't know if you see that, like there's cows in the background there. Um, so I've got, for some reason I'm seeing a milkmaid when I see this. So we are doing the work, okay? We're doing the work, where it's heavy work to go out and it's like um, an old time uh, milkmaiden that I'm seeing. She would have to go out with her pail and gather, you know, do the milk by hand, not machine. And she needs to kind of do the groundwork. There's the word grounding coming in again. We need to ground our energy, gain inspiration and move ourselves forward this month. Um, so I hope that some of you could take that and leave what doesn't because it's a broad reading and take what you can and I will see you next time. Um, if you've enjoyed this reading don't forget to like, um, subscribe and comment and I shall see you next time and we'll do go on to number two. With the Leave those over there. Let's see what we had. Aphrasia, the goddess of discernment. The patroness of miracle of he miraculous healing. The mother of God. Abundance. Irresistible, La Serena, Shipwreck Siren, Green Mermaid Triplets, Water Element, Storm Chaser. Okay, so what I want to see is these. I'm drawn towards these first of all so we have the shipwreck siren so the siren it might be that you've been going through a little now i want you to know that you can take what resonates and leave the rest so it is for a broader um broader audience so just um break that but this shipwreck siren makes me feel like you know there's been rough times you're getting over this part but I feel like this green, this healing's coming in, 
this uh, she may be feeling or you might be feeling a little bit sore at the moment you know something's happened where you feel a little bit like uh, maybe you feel a bit abandoned or you've got to start again um, or it's a case of like you're feeling like you know you don't have the direction that you want um, but then we have the storm chaser who's who, the storm chaser is willing to kind of like put themselves in the awkward positions in the um they're willing to fight for what they want to but on the other aspect is that the storm chaser looks for the danger and looks for the drama um so and then ends up being the shipwrecked siren because they were looking not maybe not subconsciously or con uh, not consciously but subconsciously they were looking for this um element of danger or element of surprise or element of something because they grew bored so it's a case of like um we are here and then the water elements come in so we've got emotions um See what I feel like that. So it's, it's, it's a sense of friendship, but maybe some sort of friendship is broke down, um, and we are now wondering if we can reach out or something's broke down. Communication-wise, is broke down, and we are now contemplating where we are. Now wondering what we're going to do. Um, so we have the Green Mermaid triplet. So we have three in this card and three in this card. So we have the the power of three coming in there. So again, I just feel like, you know, we've had a breakdown here somewhere in our lives where something hasn't gone quite right, or, you know, hasn't gone the way we want it to, or this communication has broken down. But we have the open ability for healing here, we have the healing um, of this situation. So it can be friendship, it can be family, or it can be any type of situation where there's ju it's just not gone well. But now we have the healing coming in and we have the openness of these two behind her willing to help her again, willing to come in, willing to kind of help the situation. So something's coming in for you, opening up the communication, opening up the healing this month and you can rejoice and, and kind of uh, feel a lot better because we have uh, this one which I feel like is, is that holiday, it's the uh, feeling of celebration. It's a feeling like, you know, we are able to, um, we've been, we've had to stand our ground, that's what I feel. We've had to stand our ground and be who we are and find our boundaries. And this could have caused this, um, could have caused this rife of like, you know, having to, where's that card just disappeared to? Anyway, yeah, they're at the back. It might have caused some discord or something like that, but we are now happy. We are celebrating who we are. I think we had that in the first deck actually, so it might be a theme throughout this one, but we are now coming to our own, we are ready to move forward. There is the feeling of, um, I know a lot of people can't actually go on holidays at the moment, so, um, but it might be a holiday from home, doing something special. So we have abundance and irresistible. I still don't say at the bottom, it says you keep being drawn to a moth through the flame and don't, but make sure you don't get your wounds spinked off. I kind of get the feeling like, you know, these are the two things. So it could be that, you know, something to you is irresistible and you keep like a moth, keep going to the flame. So it could be that you're repeating a pattern here with these two. You could be repeating a pattern and February's your time to break out of that pattern. February's saying, we don't want you to, um, be a moth anymore we want you to embrace the um way forward and the clarity of um truth and celebration of who you are you want abundance so if abundance come in everything is going to turn out fine so if you've been maybe worrying about something um, finances or anything you can turn it around you have control um you can do this you can make changes that you need to so the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely and I say yes to when it's holy hell yes. Okay, so it's kind of going with, um, still with the creating those boundaries, we're creating, we are being um, very careful in how we want to spend our time. Discernment is, you know, it's like, say no to things that just don't bring you joy. 
um, and say yes to things that light you up. So that's what it's kind of keeping you moving through this track of um, making sure that you're spending your time wisely. Um, abundance follows that as well. Abundance comes in because we are willing to um, um, put ourselves out there and kind of like uh, move forward. The Patriots on Miracle Healing, I am ready to heal and I am worthy of miracles meant for me. So we have healing coming in. We had healing before, so we had healing. I felt healing with this card as well. So we've had double healing coming in for February. Um, Claire, I've got meditation with that. I've got uh, walking in nature there with that as well. Breathing in some fresh air. Um, crystals. I've, I am getting... I know this is, didn't have this one. This was uh, the... Yeah, uh, for abundance, this is an, um, make sure your abundance is real, um, make sure you're driving towards what you truly want, okay, that's what I've got from that, make sure your abundance is true, but what I was saying before is that the rose quartz, so, um, I've got rose quartz, necklace, or jewellery of some kind, um, maybe just, you know, something like that, but they're, they're putting that on, yeah, the self-love and healing there, mother of God, I am blessed, my courage gives me birth to the divine. So we are exploring our divine selves. Um, our heart is opening and we are opening up to the springtime there with the flower. So yeah, the spring. And we are embracing our, who we are, we're embracing our queen. So it must be a theme for February for people. Embracing who you are, embracing your power, embracing, encouraging you to, you know, Keep going forward. You are who you are and you need to do the best for yourself. Okay, so that has been uh, Pal 2. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you've enjoyed your reading, I would love you to, um, if you could, um, like, comment or subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye. Pal 3. So what did we get with these? We have the Goddess of Devotion. The Cosmic Egg. The Mistress of the Labyrinth. Joy Terminated Mother. Burning Candle. Hope. Promise. Trilobites, Golden Mermaid, Armadillo Mermaid, Archidillo, I can't say that well. Big Octavia, see what I get from her. Tiger Lily, Tiger Nautilus. Mermaid with the floating flowers and sea, uh, seashell princess. So let's see what we'd want to first. So those kind of mean the same similar messages that I'm getting. So we have um, the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know that self never changes. So being Making willing that you are your own advice, you are your own wisdom, and only you have lived your life. And yes, it's good to reach out and get perspective from different views because that gives us an overall uh, bigger picture. But the fundamental decisions have to come from clarity, have to come from your wisdom, have to come from yourself. Um, so this is the guy I'm leading on from that. My soul knows the way and the way out only the way out is through so we're working this month with ourselves a lot the energy is saying work with you um bringing clarity for you use your own um wisdom i feel like the sea, the sea cell princess is there we are we are kind of decorating our own uh, visions there we are being creative and we are kind of bringing our own thoughts and feelings up and we are kind of moving forward because we are willing to stand our ground and be 
Okay, it must be a theme for this month because I've had it for power two, uh, power one and two. So it's like we are decorating ourselves. But they're not exact same words, but it's kind of standing up for who we are, who we want to be. So, um, no, no big floating flowers. We want to speak our truth. We want to find the beauty that surrounds us. We want to... Where's that one I'm getting there? So it's kind of feeling this of like healing coming in or colour healing. Something to do with colour there. So embracing our set of who we are but with, and we're opening ourselves up to this new way forward. That's what I think. A new way forward there with the flowers and brightness coming in. Um, we have the cosmic egg, the divine phenomenon, I hold the universe with me, I am the force of ever expecting love. So it's kind of like, again, it's these, we are, you are love, and that you can trust in this love for yourself and trust your way forward. Um, I am love that doesn't leave, and when I commit to love, my soul evolves. So you're, this isn't devotion to anybody, this is devotion to yourself. Yeah, I hold the universe with me. You hold the answers within you. Okay, so these are all, you know, um, I am my own guru, so I have the answers. My soul already knows the answers. It already knows the way. Um, so the universe is in me. It's talking to you. Look for those signs. Look for how it's talking to you. Um, these are all really powerful in that it's saying that you have that... Um, you just have the signs already there for you, you know, you've just got to open your eyes, open your heart and mind and um, just look for them. So for instance, if, you're, if you've got a question and you're saying, asking the universe, can you give me an answer or is it a yes or no? Um, for instance, um, I did it myself because I do it quite a lot. Um, you can choose something, so you could choose something quite obscure or whatever it is. So I chose to see a black um, I know that some people would obviously say you'd see loads of black cats, but where I live, you'd, there isn't that many cats because it's quite a bit. I live a bit rurally, but there is a main road. Um, and yesterday I took the dogs for a walk, not seen a cat for a long time, and there was a black cat. And then I did a meditation, um, and a black panther came into that meditation. So there was my answer with, from the universe. Um, but you can choose any symbol or any uh, number, colour, anything. And you're asking the universe to say, are you listening to me? Am I on the right path? And I choose this sign, so you show me. Um, I did it a few months ago, and I did it quite obscure. I can't quite remember what I chose, but it's something to do with green jade. And I did actually have the universe answer me, so you can do it that way. Um, just to give yourself confidence that you know that it's talking to you. Okay, moving on, a burning candle. This means that, you know, your energies are low and we need this vitality, we need this colour, we need these flowers. We need some healing, we need some, the golden mermaid, it's not from them, that's knowledge. That is knowledge, so let's see what else is coming up with this burning candle. Okay, here we go. Tiger lily, we've got this energy coming in. We need this energy of the solar plexus on um, the sacral. This is sexual energy, this is energy from um, ourselves, this is energy from um, the universe combining with ourselves and we're exploring our, where we want to be. We're listening, we're open to listening to the universe, we're open to listen to the higher self. So this is what I feel like with these flowers, we're opening listening to ourselves with that. We are being fierce in our energy, and we are wanting to be open. I have to say, I've not used these mermaid cards very often, so I've never looked at the uh, the book for them. So, I mean, the book would probably say something completely different, but I'm going to just go with what I sense from spirit with them. Gold there. So we have the golden mermaid, which is, we are learning some knowledge. We are learning some knowledge, and it's not just one thing, it's multiple things that come together. Because we have the little moon, um, just there, we have some rainbow, so we have some knowledge there. For some of you, this is knowledge of finding out that either yourself is pregnant, 
or someone very close to you because I have a baby um, link there it's possibly that you know somebody you know lost a child or uh, had a miscarriage or yourself now I know that these are broad readings so take what resonates and leave the rest it could be um, that I'm sensing the inner child that needs that's coming through and that needs work so that inner child had that um, need for healing and need for the flowers and the need for decoration of themselves and the need to be who they you know um, I feel like that looks like sweets so it's possible you know that inner child needs the sweets that inner child needs the trust um, so take it how it resonates really I will have to probably study the book won't I because um, it might give me some more we have promise so we have the promise or let love bloom there are things moving to a new level so, so some of you might be that you know there's a relationship that you're already in and it's moving up to the next level or that you're going to meet somebody and then it moves quite quickly do not get burned out by people um, you know just let you steady yourself steady yourself and then hope do not give up that's uh, make your wish that's what i feel with that card make your wishes make your wishes now to the universe and watch out for those signs so we have these two we have that energy but this is a feeling like you know we've got to center ourselves and we've got to find our wisdom with these trilobites i feel like this it, wisdom comes from the ancestry so this is not the start of the month, it's more towards the end. We are discovering who we are and at the start we are using our wisdom from what we need. And by the end of the month we have a deeper connection with the ancestry um, level and we are able to tap into that um, and bring wisdom from past lives. How do I feel like that um, with those cards? Hold on, let's have a look. Treasure. Okay, again, it's kind of, if you can see the bottom of that, where all the, the fish are kind of showing um, the underside of themselves. So we are, um, let's see what I can feel of this one. It gives an unusual energy, I have to say. It kind of feels like, you know, we're still searching for that light. And it could be, you know, we're searching for the pearls of wisdom. So it goes from that as well. But it's something is hidden, something is hidden from us and it will come to light eventually, it will come to light at the end of the month uh, that this information is hidden and sometimes something about this situation is just not true or it's not fully being revealed but by the end of the month I just feel like we have this, um, what was the card? we have um, the goddess of devotion there so as long as we keep to devotion of ourselves these truths will not cause us any harm whatsoever in fact they add to where we are because we know that we can stand in our own truths and our own feelings we've gained our wisdom we've gained um, ourselves in this beauty and we've gained our sweets we have gained everything that we've needed to so I don't feel anything untowards at all. We are learning all about ourselves this month and we are listening to the universe and watching out for the signs. Okay, that has been it for PAL 3. I um, will be back next week and if any, oh this was for the month reading, so watch out for the weekly readings that I do as well. This has been for the month of February. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, and if you've enjoyed the reading, then please like, subscribe, and subscribe and comment. And I shall see you next time.